Hi, welcome to WordPress tutorial and in this video I'm going to tell you that how you can add a banner in your website with a proper animation text. Okay, so let me just give you a demo that how our banner is going to look at the end. Okay, so here you can see first we got the banner image then we get the image uh, the text with a proper animation. If you want to see this again then I can just refresh the space and uh, then you will be able to see this. Okay, see. Here we get the image first, then this text, and then the last one. Okay, so I hope you got this. Now uh, let's uh, move to creating this part. Okay, so for that we are going to use a plugin, and the plugin name is Slider Revolution. So to use this plugin, uh, you can't just go to plugins area and can't install this uh, that normally. We need to install this from uh, somewhere else. So we are going to use Sign Ads for this. Okay, this is a website from where you can get free themes, free plugins and some more things that you can just go and browse this website it's totally free okay so here you need to type slider revolution and now click on search see here we get our results and here you need to click on the free download click on that and now just go down here you will get two links uh, that will help you to uh, download the plugin but uh, out of these two links only one will be working and that uh, link will start from mediaflare.com mediafire.com okay copy the link and paste it here and now you need to download this okay okay it says your download is starting and plugin is now downloaded even i have already downloaded it so i can just use that as well but for you i have showed you that how you can download this okay now go to your website dashboard first everybody knows that how to visit their dashboard you need to write wp hyphen admin then the password and login details okay now here you uh, you will be able to see i don't have any slider revolution we are going to install it now you need to click on this add new instead of install plugins okay here you need to click on upload plugin instead of searching here okay because this time we have already installed or uh, sorry we have already downloaded the plugin in our system now we need to update or upload that plugin here choose file here you can see this and uh, now let me just install it in few seconds it will get installed and then you can just activate the plugin here you can see your plugin is successfully installed now click on activate plugin okay now it might take few seconds also uh, to activate your plugin and then you will be able to see a new option in your uh, side menu okay now our plugin is installed and we just uh, redirect it to the plugin dashboard okay if you can see here in the side menu uh, below the mc4 wp we will be able to see this okay now go up here you will get some options like if you have already some uh, kind of slider in your system then you can just upload that here and uh, uh, the next is uh, new module from templates you can just create uh, your own temp uh, your own module like uh, i mean uh, you can just create your own slider using these already or you can say pre-built templates okay so we are not going to use any of them we are going to create our slider from scratch click on uh, create a new okay with the guide see here we get this kind of dashboard now what you need to do you need to add a image here if you can see slide background animation it says slide background animation now we need to select a layer here mm -hmm. If I say image, okay, remove it. Okay, see here it says we have a transparent background, but we need a image instead of that background. You can use any external image, color, YouTube video, Vimo video, and HTML5 video. You can use any of them. So right now we have a image, so we are going to use that image. Now you need to uh, choose media library if you want to uh, go to your work system and you want to upload that image. So we are going to do that. Okay. Now I need to upload the file. See here I have choose the image. From here you can update old text for your uh, for your image, title also, caption, description, 
even the URL also. Now click on insert and you will be able to see the image here. Okay, got it. I hope you got my point that how you can add a image in your slider. Done. Now let me first uh, show you that how your image is going to look at your home page. Okay, so let me just click on save and click on this settings button here you can see a short code and that short code is going to help you to add this image in your uh, pages okay so let me copy this and let me open the website on another tab also now you need to go on pages section make sure you have elementor and i think we don't have elementor installed here so first we need to install elementor so that we can use this short code also you can use uh, your uh, wordpress editor but i'm not that comfortable with that so i'm going to use elementor if you uh, have work you will be able to know elementor is quite easy to work with so i will prefer if you are a beginner and uh, you want to store start then you can use elementor okay it's quite good click on install now and uh, their features are also very handy that anyone can handle them you can just work by uh, drag and drop okay there are many other uh, plugins also that you can use but this page builder is quite nice click on activate now and then visit your element okay now just keep it out okay if you want to uh, fill out them then you can do this it's totally your choice but we are going to skip this because we are uh, not going to make this video so large okay so it shows that this is how our page is gonna move okay this is how we can just edit anything but right now i need to go on my wp admin section now i need to go on this pages section see here we don't have any pages right now so I'm going to create a new page, click on add new and I'm going to give it a name as home. Okay. Now you need to publish it. Click on publish and now here from here you can see your page. Okay. And now uh, let me just uh, tell you that you just need to remove this uh, page title so that you can see uh, your slider from top. Okay. Now click on save changes. If you see here we are getting this if I just refresh the page and then it will be removed. Why this is removed because uh, we have removed the section from uh, the page like uh, the section was this page title ok now click on edit with Elementor. Now what we need to do here we need to add a short code ok. So you need to type here short code ok if you can see you are getting it you just need to drag it here and you can see it here. Now paste your short code here and you will be able to see the maze here but right now it's, it will not be visible in your uh, back end side but in front end side it is available right now. Okay. If you want to see the changes in your page you can just click here. Okay. Let me just tell you one more thing. Uh, you can use the revolution element also. Okay. It was showing there but i am uh, using this short code so both are similar there is no such issue okay now click on the settings option and uh, now choose the page layout as elementor full width and then click on update uh, okay now uh, before updating it let me show you how it is appearing right now see now if you can see now our element our page is quite filled with this banner okay you can decrease or increase the page, uh, image size i will show you that as well okay now what we need to do we need to add text over it so you need to text and quick styling uh, quick style heading click here and now you need to have your text so this is gonna be our text okay it's not allowing to copy Okay, there is no issue. I set it this animation timing. Okay, now uh, let me just 
stretch it out so that it can look little bit okay now uh, let's write here your text the text is more on okay now you need to choose your style i'll choose this okay you need to write here modern and let me check the spelling space yes okay s p s n s rooms okay this is about our content now you can just uh, increase or decrease the size let me see from where we can do this mm. uh, let's go to styles area from here you can increase the size of your text for example if i do this 100 pixel it's i hope it's going to be so big okay so let's make it 90 to 80 pixel hope that will be fine okay i think this is quite fine let's make it little smaller right now click on the styles again and make it 80 pixel i think it is okay now i think it's fine now you can adjust its uh, spacing like uh, in which side you want to show this text and all other thing so let me just uh, move it little in the side okay now see in this uh, upper and down area you need to fix it in the middle okay so just take it up so that it can be in the middle of the page still it's not in the middle of page so let me just put it little down okay now it's fine good now let's uh, save this and see the changes on this section let me just refresh out the page i think okay okay now you can see here uh, we are getting the text okay now you need to do what you need to do first first you need to make sure that the spelling is right for modern let me correct it first okay now this time this is fine go on style again and if you want to make this uh, more bold or you want to change the color then you can do these things from here okay now here are some transitions that you can do like uh, if you can see this is uh, coming from top and if you can see this is coming from bottom now let me check uh, what exactly we have applied in this case i think uh, this is okay this is coming from down section so we are going to do the same thing short slide from bottom if you can see this come out from the bottom side okay so let me just move it little in this side now see uh if i just click on this play section then how it is going to look so this is how it's going to appear okay now we are going to add our next text okay you need to click here on this add layer then click on text again if you want to add a headline then you can do this also and if you want to add a quick style content like you want to add some small content then you can just use this so i'm going to use uh, this quick style content and this time we need to write here enjoy your holidays okay let me just first you need to choose your uh, writing way so let me choose this okay now uh, remove it and click on this content enjoy your holidays at okay so we write the same line here also now you need to increase the size for this text you can do this like uh, but it's so big now let me just put it down here and we put o as a big or you can say capital okay now it's fine now we need to add a animation here also this is our text so you need to add a animation so this time we need to add different animation okay this is i think quite similar to that we need to move this slide down and the text one as up okay now a uh, little bit behind this text now let's try to play it how it appears 
okay so this is quite similar now you can increase the size of uh, the text i mean you can increase the font weight of that text so for example if i put it as bold uh, this is how it's appearing so let me just make it semi bold now this is quite fine okay now let me save it first and if i just go here and i need to refresh my page to check the results so this is how it's appearing right now okay so what we need to do first first we need to adjust our art uh, on the slider okay so let me take here and you can see this advanced section here uh, remove this so that this value doesn't change for each and every side we need to put a margin of 50 to 60 to the topper section okay so go here and now see okay this time this is fixed in our top and from top section it's appearing uh, like this so let me just move it a little bit more okay let me preview changes so this time this is quite fine okay so this is how our slider is appearing right now okay so if you see here the size for this slider is uh, so big and we need to change the size okay so click in this so what we need to do we need to uh, change the size so to change the size what we are going to do okay you need to click on this layout section and then uh, you can see the height width and all these things so i am going to change this height all here so i am going to make this 500 let's see how it appears okay just refresh out the page and see the changes okay this time uh, the banner is a little bit uh, small but it's okay right now i think it fine but let's change it to 600 okay 600 will be max to max for your computer screen okay now let's move it little up you can put this down so that uh, this can be visible to us properly now you can adjust it according to your size and dimension now let me refresh the page so this time this is quite good and if you can see here we are getting little more space so we can just fill out that as well so to fill out that space we need to click here and now instead of 600 we are going to write 650 hopefully that is going to work for us so let me just refresh out the page and you can see this time this is looking quite good instead of the first one so this is how you can do a slider and uh, uh, if you want to see this in your mobile devices then it's going to be responsive okay so if you see this is a uh, responsive in your mobile devices also so i hope you got my point and you understand that how you can add a banner to your website with proper animation So this was all about the tutorial and if you enjoyed this tutorial then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and I will see you in the next video till then take care and bye